SCP-1148, Object Class, Safe. SCP-1148 is the reflected image currently maintained on SCP-1148-1. It appears identical to the reflection that should occur naturally on the surface of Dash-1, aside from those minor discrepancies outlined below. SCP-1148 totally obstructs the view outward through Dash-1, despite the transparency of the underlying glass. Subjects who view the illuminated side of Dash-1 are initially oblivious to the presence of SCP-1148, beyond that of an ordinary reflection. Observation from the opposite side of Dash-1 yields no reflection and has been found asymptomatic. After approximately 15 minutes of exposure, the first documented symptoms begin to manifest. Effects are as listed. Paranoia regarding what is behind SCP-1148, a feeling of being watched, a fixation on observing SCP-1148 despite a desire to turn away. Within five minutes of the appearance of these symptoms, subjects report sighting transient figures as part of SCP-1148. These figures, which should not present as part of a true reflection, are described as disappearing upon intentional viewing, and include a man cloaked in a black hood, a large winged biped, and a pair of glowing eyes. Within an additional five minutes of exposure, subjects express an irrational desire to approach SCP-1148. Reasons are varied, but are often explained as wanting to close Dash-1 or draw a blind. Despite the fact that SCP-1148-1 is neither capable of opening nor has any covering. Upon moving within two centimeters of SCP-1148, an unseen force is witnessed to act upon the subject, drawing them closer. While invisible to external observers, various hysterical victims describe a pair of disembodied arms emerging from SCP-1148. Said limbs extend to approximately elbow length and are assumed to be humanoid, acting to pull the subject inside SCP-1148. No subject has yet been recovered following this event. Addendum At the present time, no method of independently containing SCP-1148 can be ascertained. Equal illumination of both sides of Dash-1 is expected to remove SCP-1148, but based on information gathered before its collection, it would most likely be transported to another suitable reflective surface. All known appearances of SCP-1148 have occurred on unbacked vertical plates, having at least one meter of clearance behind them, and which are capable of transmitting light through their entirety. Examples, windows, sliding doors, windscreens. Proximity is thought to be the deciding factor in this transfer, but testing has been postponed due to the large risk of breach. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1148 is to remain situated on the window hereafter referred to as SCP-1148-1. To this end, Dash-1 is to be embedded in a wall dividing a standard containment room in two. Illumination of no less than 100 watts is to be provided in the entrance division of the room, while the second division is to remain unlit. In case of power loss, chemiluminescent sources sufficient for 24 hours are mandated. Illumination between the room's sections must never fall below a difference of 75 watts.